All right, let's check out uh, how to edit a pipe network. So we've laid, we've created our pipe network. Uh, we can see it listed in the network section here. Uh, I've got my uh, storm pipe created. Uh, if I select my pipes from the prospector tab, I can see all my pipes in the itemized view there. Uh, they're all listed here. And this is a good way to kind of check to see if any of your rules have been violated. So it looks like there's one uh, pipe that uh, has a bit of a problem. I'm going to go in and check on that pipe a, a little bit later. Uh, so also the structures are listed there as well. And uh, shows you all nicely in an itemized list. So uh, a little bit about editing these pipes. If I wanted to move a structure uh, or delete a structure, I can go ahead and just select any object and, and delete it and remove it and it'll be gone. If you wanted to edit the entire network, sometimes it's easier to select any object on that pipe network and then go into edit network. And from there, uh, what I can do is I can add in certain objects. So if I wanted to place a structure at the end of that pipe, I could come to this object here and go structures only and then uh, go ahead and select that particular pipe end. So you'll notice that if I move my cursor to the end of that pipe, it shows me that icon, uh, that little orange icon there that represents the end of the pipe. Okay. Now if I move it somewhere in between, for instance, if I place it in here, you'll see that it'll break the pipe out and place a structure in between there. So here I will be meaning the end of the pipe. So I can go ahead and select that, hit enter, and if I wanted to get rid of a uh, structure, I can just hit uh, select it and then hit delete. Now notice that it breaks the pipe out, but that's okay. You can go ahead and select that segment of pipe, remove it if you need to, and then go ahead and select your object and then just snap it back onto the pipe so you, or onto the structure. And you'll see when I snap a pipe onto the structure, it shows me that little yellow icon there, noting that I'm snapped onto the structure and it ties it in there. If you wanted to move the position of a structure, you can just select the structure and move it wherever you like. If you wanted to reference a certain location on the alignment, then you can go ahead and use that same old state apostrophe, SO, which stands for station offset. Hit enter. It asks you to select the alignment and then it asks you for a station point. So you could type in your station value and your offset from that station. And away you go. And uh, it looks like my something happened to my pipe, but that's okay. Uh, that's not a problem. Just select your pipe size and then come and say pipes only. And you can do the same thing as you did before. You can go ahead and select structure to structure and uh, lay that pipe back in there if you like. Okay. So if, if you're doing that kind of thing, uh, something like this, you might have to redraw your part back into profile view if it didn't show. So it looks like uh, something happened with that pipe there. I can just go ahead and delete it and uh, everything should be back to normal. So that last pipe segment there looks like it's, it hasn't been drawn. So I can go ahead and just select that last pipe and that last structure and right click and go draw parts in profile view and then come back over to my profile view and select it. So when I take a look at my uh, my network in my prospector tab, I can see that uh, I have one pipe that has a, a problem here. So that's pipe one one. Now you can rename these if you want. Um, you know you can just uh, select them in your properties, or you can rename them from your pipe list if you will, and call them whatever you like. Uh, I'm okay with that name right now, but. Uh, again, if you didn't re need to rename a structure or a pipe, select it, right click, and go into your structure properties. And uh, in your information tab, you can rename that structure to something more relevant. Uh, notice that in any of these properties, whether it's a structure or a pipe, you can go into your pipe properties, select, uh, take a look at the reference surface, um, and any other pertinent information for that object. So it'll tell you things like uh, all your part data and, and other relevant information. Things like uh, your your uh, rim elevation, that kind of stuff. So if I'm looking for a particular pipe, pipe slash one one, then I can go ahead and uh, select it. I can also uh, right click on that thing and go zoom to and it'll take me to that pipe. So uh, this pipe looks like it's uh, got a bit of a problem here. I might have two pipes overlaid there for some reason, so I can get rid of one of those. Uh, now, 
that pipe one one if I hold it over top in the tool tip it'll show me that uh, the name of that pipe there I know that's the pipe I'm going to go into the pipe properties and just see what uh, some of my violations are so in your rule it'll say here that the uh, the cover the slope and uh, the minimum cover is uh, violated so something's wrong with this pipe I'm gonna have to take a bit closer look here notice that in your part properties you can also check out some of these uh, more tabular view of what's going on with that particular feature okay so with that pipe 1 1 I'm gonna wanna probably take a look at that guy uh, well the problem is here so I can make sure that it's connected that's always helpful um, so I'll select the grip and then just tie it into the pipe there and uh, uh, make sure everything is uh, tied in there nice and nice and close to, to that structure. So if I'm having a problem with that particular structure and it's not snapping onto that object, then I'll probably just go ahead and delete it, select the pipe size from the list of what the, uh, the original was, I think it was uh, 375, and then just say pipes only, make sure it's set to pipes only, make sure you've got your slope in the correct direction, so I'm going to move up the hill because I'll start laying a pipe from this point here to the next manhole. So it's very forgiving in, as far as editing these pipes, and I also want to make sure that I draw that pipe back into the part profile view. So I'll select it, right click whenever I delete it, I want to make sure I select the pipe, and then in it comes. So that pipe's going to have a bit of an issue there. We're going to talk about applying some of the rules to uh, to our pipe. So usually what a, a handy way to work is uh, when you're working with plan and profile views is go to your view tab under your viewport configuration do a couple of horizontal viewports that'll help things out as well and then you can show your your plan view along the top because you have to edit in plan view but you want to see what's happening in the profile view so you can kind of set that up uh, on a network by network basis. So what you can do now is uh, try applying any uh, issues with uh, pipes but you can apply the rules individually so if I select a particular uh, couple of pipes in a row I can go to my modify drop down and then say apply rules so you have to pick at least two parts and then you can go apply rules and then uh, you'll notice that it says select the upslope part in plan so you want to pick the part that's at the highest elevation that you want to apply the rule to so I'm going to select the first structure and then it says select the next parts in the downslope so if you wanted to apply those rules to the entire network at once you can go ahead and pick them all in the list and uh, that'll apply the rules to every one of those uh, particular structures so you'll say okay and you'll notice that it kinda tighten things up down here at the bottom. Um, you can also apply rules on a one by one basis so if you just had one pipe that was an issue say for instance uh, you had a pipe at the at the end of the line and maybe it was uh, you know you thought the slope was a bit inconsistent or something like that you can go ahead and apply the rule to just that one object so you can select the pipe and go apply rules and it'll apply the rule to that pipe there okay so you can do uh, whatever you like for instance uh, there's a couple of things we might want to talk about uh, as far as uh, pipe changes. Let's say, for instance, I select a pipe and I, I'm going to swap that part. So I can, as we talked about before, um, I can swap parts for a particular pipe if I want. I'm going to come into my top view, uh, select my part, and let's say that's going to be a smaller 300 size pipe. Now. Uh, if I wanted to do something like match the crowns where I have an outgoing pipe that's larger than my incoming pipe, I can do a couple of different things. I can set the structure to that particular rule. So I'll select my structure and then I'll go to structure properties and then in my structure properties I'll make sure that that rule is set to match crowns. And uh, what that'll do is it'll match my crowns uh, from pipe to pipe. So I'll say OK and then I'll select that pipe and then right click and apply rules and it'll match the crowns on that pipe there as well. So uh, you can do that a couple of different ways. If you wanted to, you could do it manually as well. So you can select the pipe, you can pick the vertice from the pipe endpoint, and uh, you notice you've got a base point option here. So you can say base point, and just like with your copy command, use your base point to be your endpoint of your pipe, and then your stretch point would be the other side of that pipe that'll match the crowns up that way.
Okay, so you can try do it do it like that. Uh, but again, it's probably easier just to right click and apply the rules so that you're matching the crowns there. Um, yeah, and like I say, if you wanted to change uh, the slope of the pipe, you can do it a couple of different ways. You can you can change the pipe graphically if you like uh, by just grabbing a grip and moving it up and down. But uh, that's sometimes a bit uh, uh, risky because you don't know what the pipe slope was. If you select the pipe, you can right click and go into your pipe properties. And in your part properties, it'll give you uh, your pipe slope. So let's say you want to change the pipe slope from, say, a 4.2% to a 4%. So in that case, if I wanted to keep the top of the pipe at the same position, let's say I didn't want to move that location of that pipe at the beginning, at the top, then what I would do is I would go back into my part properties and uh, change the value to hold the start of the pipe. And that'll change the slope, but keep the, uh, the top of the pipe at the same position, but it'll shift the bottom of the pipe so that the slope is, is been changed. So you can uh, change that up as well uh, if you like. Now, I drew my pipe network backwards from the uh, lowest point to the highest point, so you have to make sure you're, you're aware of that too. And when you click Apply, you'll see that my pipe start was actually at this point here because I started laying out the pipe network from the bottom and I moved up the slope so that's why that changed so if you did want to change that pipe uh, slope for the correct location then what you would do is you would select that pipe go into the pipe properties and this time I would just change the hold end that'll hold the top of the pipe and make sure it's a negative and then say OK. So you'll notice that the top of the pipe didn't move, but the bottom of the pipe shifted. So if I wanted to keep on going, then what I would do is I want to match the crowns on this between these two. I'll just make sure my structure property rules is set to match crowns, and they are. And then I can right click again and go apply rules, and it'll match those crowns up. Now, uh, for my pipe, I can select it, and I want to uh, check the rules for that pipe. That should be set as well to the pipe size. Everything looks good there. It tells me my minimum cover is violated. So there I've got a problem. And when I see that, I want to go to the part properties and check out the cover. So if I come to the cover section, it says the start cover is 1.16. That's the violation. The end of the cover is good, but uh, that top of the pipe is a bit of an issue. So I'm going to have to change the cover, the, uh, the elevation there. But what I can do is, uh, if I want, I can, if I select my grip in the middle, it'll hold the, the slope of the pipe, but it will uh, change the elevation of the entire pipe as a whole. Okay, so it'll do that. Uh, if I wanted to change the, the slope of the pipe, I could come in here and uh, change that value this way if I like, and uh, check that pipe properties to see if my rule has been violated. It looks like I'm good there. I can go to my part properties and check that uh, start and end cover. It looks like the start cover now is uh, not quite right so I'd have to go check that as well and uh, see if that see how that looks for me. And uh, it doesn't look like it's told me my cover has been violated but I'd want to make sure that uh, there's everything is in order and abiding by my rule. So I think I'm okay. My minimum uh, cover value was 1.2, and uh, I'm, I'm well within that range here. So that's all right. Uh, I don't see any violation there at that point, but uh, I would still have to address this problem. But uh, I can, again, here it would be faster just for me to select a base point and match those crowns manually. So my base point would then be maybe the end of the pipe, and then uh, my base point, the end of the other pipe there and uh, we've matched some crowns manually. That'll change the slope of this pipe, so I'd want to come back in here and just check the pipe properties, make sure nothing has been violated there. As long as I'm within my tolerances, then, uh, then I'm okay with that. So that's uh, how you can edit some pipe networks. It's uh, usually pretty forgiving. If you see objects like this where your structure pops way up above the top of the surface, that's just another glitch. You can kind of select your pipe, or your structure, sorry, and then go swap part, Pick the same part, don't change the part, say OK, and then that'll put that uh, structure back to grade. Um, so you might have to do that for some of those. And uh, like I say, that's a bit of a 
glitch in the program, but fairly easy fix. So that's how you can edit some of those uh, different pipe structures and networks. And uh, uh, like I say, it kind of works together in plan and profile together. So if you work both of those as well, uh, it's quite uh, a quick tool. All right. Thanks for watching and uh